All right, y'all, I'm going to just come out and say it. There is no way Tua Tagovailoa should have been playing last night at all after what I saw on Sunday. Somebody, if not everybody, on the Miami Dolphins medical staff need to be fired. They need to be relieved of their duties expeditiously. Because if you saw what happened on Sunday against the Buffalo Bills, when Tua hit his head, and then he was grabbing his head, stumbling, stumbling, trying to get back to the huddle, fall, fell down, got back up, stumbling all over, trying to get to the huddle, you know that brother was concussed. You know that. All signs of a concussion were there. And I'm looking like, wow, he concussed for real. So when they cleared him to play on Thursday night, I was shocked. I'm like, they letting them play tonight? For real? Because again, Sunday to Sunday is already a quick turnaround when it comes to head like a concussion. But Sunday to Thursday, fam, that, like, come on now. Y'all know that ain't enough time after that brother had a concussion like that. I don't care what Tua was saying. Because Tua, you know, y'all know athletes are going to say they're okay, they're okay, they're okay because they feel pressure. They feel like, I don't want to let my team now. The Miami Dolphins are getting off to a surprising hot start. Tua Tagovailoa had been criticized heavily since he got into the NFL. People are wondering if he, if he really is, just, if he's just a game manager or if he is a difference-making quarterback that he was at Alabama, right? So this year, he off to a hot start. He got great uh, great new targets, right? He throwing to Tyreek Hill. You know what I mean? Jalen Waddle and them, they putting up numbers. And so it's making him look good. And he's putting up, he's producing at a high rate. So you're looking like, man, I got to show that I'm not a fraud out here. I have to keep showing. He's, he's going to feel pressure to keep going out there no matter what. I don't want to let my team down. The organization is happy that we're starting off 3-0, and right? I'm putting up these outstanding numbers. I got to prove everybody that I belong. He got a chip on his shoulder. I have to prove that I, I should be in this position. I got to prove that the Miami Dolphins did not make a mistake by making me the starting quarterback of this team, by giving, them, by giving me the keys to the vehicle. So he's going to play no matter what. You don't leave that up to the player. As the medical staff on the organ, on, as the med, as the medical staff within the organization, you're supposed to say, you know what? No, nah, fam, this is not okay. He shouldn't be playing. They let him go out there and play. And last night, guess what happens? He hits his head again, and then his hands start to seize up in a way I ain't never seen before. That was scary. That was absolutely scary last night. And I'm looking like, man, come on now. Like, I was really scared for that brother. And looking at it now, man, I don't know, man. Like, I hope Tua's okay, for real. And I heard, you know, I heard he's all right. But this is a scary situation. Situations like this, back-to-back -back concussions like that, that can kill you. That's life-threatening type stuff. Like, for real, this situation may have put his career in jeopardy. And knock on wood, I hope everything is all right. But he's going to have to miss some, some significant time. Because I can't imagine being on the medical staff and clearing him to play next week after what we just saw. I can't even imagine him, imagine clearing him the week after that. He's going to have to miss, I think, at least two weeks to try to recover. I just seen brothers miss five, six games on concussion protocol. Trying to get back right because they've had too many concussions back to back consecutively. So I can imagine he's going to have to miss some, some significant time. You know, but... It's just the fact that they cleared him to play on Thursday in the first place, right? Now, I know the NFL just signed a new this, this deal with Jeff Bezos um, and Amazon. So now the Thursday night games are being shown on Amazon Prime. And they probably felt like, I don't know, they oh, we got to have two out there. He's the marquee individual. He's playing hot. We got to have the starting quarterback out there producing, um, with on, on showing on this product. Well, showing on Amazon now because they signed this new deal. We have to put him out there at the forefront so that the product does well. This game does well if the starting quarterback is out there. I don't care about none of that. You're supposed to care about that player. And if I'm the head coach of this team, right, and I'm on the medical staff, you got to look at that dude. Like You got to look at Tua like that's your son, <coughs> right? I want that's the medical staff and the head coach of the Dolphins, Mike McDaniel, to think about if that was their son out there playing, football, playing quarterback. What would you do if that was your boy? Would you have sent your boy back out there to finish that game on Sunday? And then would you have turned around and let him play on Thursday night against the Bengals? And it absolutely is hit. That the answer is hell no. Absolutely not. They wouldn't have let, if that was their son, they wouldn't have let their boy go out there and take that type of damage and, and go out there and risk getting another concussion so soon. No, they wouldn't have done that. But because that's not their son, 
and that the game is just predicated on getting wins and producing and producing and producing, they march them back out there and let them get back on their field. And I know people are going to be like, again, Tua could have told them no. But I, I just explained to you all the position that Tua is in. He's not in position to say, no, I'm cool, I'm cool, I'm straight. Because he, he wants to prove himself to this organization and to the lead that he's worth some more money and that he's worth being picked. People, people were doubting him. People, people were calling him a game manager. People were saying he's not the guy for this team to run this ship. So he's like, I'm off to a hot start. I got to prove that I'm supposed to be in this position. I got to keep this momentum going. So he felt pressure to do it, even if it wasn't from the organization within himself. He knows what's at risk, what's at stake. And he felt pressure to play because of that. But it's up to the medical staff to say, you know what, Tua, sit this one out. Nah, we ain't going to let you go out there like this. Nah, man, we can't do this. We cannot do this. After you saw how he was looking on Sunday. To march him back out there was criminal anyway. Just put him back out there after you saw, you know, the brother was already, his wits were gone. And we need to have a deeper discussion too. Because the NFL concussion protocol is some BS. The NFL concussion protocol, y'all know it's some BS. All they're going to do is tell you to look left, look right, look up, look down, say your name, tell them what day of the week it is, and you good. You good. That's not a real in-depth way to, I guess, uh, analyze if a guy is, is able to really go out there and take some more damage and take some more hits. You know? That's not a really good way to do that. It's not look up, look down, what's your name, what day of the week it is. Okay, cool. Go ahead, young man. Pat him on the back, hit him on the helmet, or hopefully not hit him on the helmet, but you know, pat him on the back. Come on, man, you be all right. And the, and the coach say, okay, cool. The coach, the, the coach don't care. He's in a position where he got to win games. He knows that if you're out there, he has a better chance of winning that game. He going to let you go out there and play because he wants to look good. He wants to stack up his resume with wins so that he can, he can either get an extension or... If all, in the worst case scenario, he get another job elsewhere, stuff don't go right in Miami. So, nah, bro. Somebody got to be fired in their medical staff or all of them need to be relieved of their duties. That was crazy. That's crazy. To see what happened Sunday, to watch that brother around on th out there on Thursday, that quick of a turnaround? Nah, bro. And everybody was like, well, you know, Tua was saying it was his back and it was his ankle. Look at what the brother was grabbing on Sunday. His head. Most of the time, you're going to grab what hurts you first. Your head. He grabbed his head, so I don't care what he was saying. Y'all know it was a concussion. But if you say, if you know, it was his back and it was ankle, it was his back and it was his ankle, you don't have to go through a real deep concussion protocol because Tua said it was just his back and it was just his ankle. So they be trying to be real slick, you know, with the, with the trickery and all that, right? They try to, you know, it, 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 it's... They try to, oh, no, he didn't say that. It was this. So we don't have to do the concussion protocol. It was his back and it was his ankle. Look at what that man was grabbing and how he was stumbling. That don't look like no back and no ankle stuff. Come on now. For real. Like, you know. They know better than that. And again, he's had two concussions in a five-day span. This situation could have put his career in jeopardy. That's not okay, man. And if I'm seeing this, stuff like this is the reason why if I was Lamar Jackson, I wouldn't be playing without my money. Because y'all want me to go out there and risk it. They will march you out there, don't give a damn about you, and don't want to pay you. Tell me, prove prove to me you need to get paid. Cool, right? But you're still going to risk my career in order for your team to look good. Because you know I got the best chance of giving you... I have the. I am the person who puts you in position to win best on this roster. Right? So you're going to march me out there through sickness and health, whatever... Just because you want me to, you want to get the wins. But look how that brother was stumbling, man. He wasn't in condition to be out there playing. You see how dude was looking, man. That was not, he was not in condition to be out there playing like that. And I'm looking at that like, fam, there's no way. You got to look at that brother like that's your son and say, man, I would never want my son to be out here playing like that. Look how he looking, man. That's not no good look. So, I don't know, man. It's just, yeah, somebody needs to be relieved of their duties, man. Because, again, what would you do if that was your boy, if that was your son out there playing? It wouldn't have been, it wouldn't have been a no-brainer. Nah, son, you can't do it. But because two are not they son, hey, to hell with it. Go out there and go do it, man. Two are tough. You tough, right? They hit him with the um with the line from Payton Four. You be all right. You tough, right? They hit him with the dudes get concussions every day, B. That's what they hit him with. And they marched him back out there and expected him to be okay. And then this happens. It's unacceptable. Machiavelli Mills TV. I'm out. Peace.